Hey guys, this is Corey again with a video not pertaining to any costume related work. This is something that I have been waiting for for about a month. This right here. I am so excited for what this is. Um, if I, I believe I had mentioned before, I honestly can't remember if I did or did not. So I will just either re-mention or mention for the first time now. After watching a buttload of <gasps> lightsaber um, customizing videos or lightsaber reveals via Shamim's channel or City of Sabers channel, um, and even even the Rebels Rebel Chumps channel, I thought to myself, you know, I really want to do my first ever lightsaber installation. Um, because honestly, like all of my lightsabers that I have are from Ultra Sabers, which are near and dear to my heart. I love those lightsabers and I wouldn't trade them in for the world. Um, but just, you know, like I want to, I want to have something that I did myself and seeing as I don't have the necessary equipment to actually build literally build one from scratch the next best thing would have been to buy an empty hilt and you know like all the electronics and stuff you know the speakers the soundboard um the, the led lights you know all that extra stuff and do the installation myself i have zero experience with this so due to that i have been watching a buttload of videos on YouTube and I'm um, trying to gather or make sure I am gathering the right equipment to do such an install but this I I am so so excited I can like barely contain myself so let me show you guys what I got all right Just cut the tape. Now, I love Star Wars. I really do. I'm. I may not be like a super Star Wars nerd like other people, or know as much as I should like other people, but I love Star Wars, and. One of my favorite Star Wars would have, in all honesty, in all honesty, like, me personally, I really don't have a problem with the prequels. Um, like, most people have a serious issue with the prequels, mainly Jar Jar Binks. I actually like Jar Jar. He was, he was the comic relief in what was, like, a serious time. And just me personally, like, you know, he he brought some stupid comedy. I, I like stupid humor. And he fits the bill for stupid humor. So, like, he kind of worked for me. But, um, my like, one of my top favorite prequels has to be, um, The Phantom Menace. You know, that... In my honest opinion, that was the best prequel movie, had the best fight scenes, and it's just like, come on, you, you really can't top, like, choreography-wise, you really can't top the fight with Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Darth Maul. That was just epic. Um, but one of my all-time favorite Star Wars movies has to be, you know, like, a New Hope. That was the first Star Wars movie I've ever seen, and you know, it's just, it's just amazing. You know, like I, because of that, like Star Wars is basically what, like, sealed sci-fi for me, I guess. But enough of my talking. 
this is what I got. Via Corbanth. Oh my gosh, this is, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing. I am like freaking out inside. I'm, I haven't even peeked around my, my phone to look at it. I am looking at it through, like from my screen because this, this, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, so I just peeked around and I did notice some blemishes like right right along here kind of going straight down under the A, but you know what? I'm perfectly fine with it. I am perfectly fine with it. I am going to get up and get some gloves so I don't put fingerprints on this just yet. So give me a moment. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. This was literally the first lightsaber I've ever wanted because of seeing the first Star Wars movie. Seeing the activation of of the Graflex lightsaber was just it's just oh my gosh, like yo, what is this? Oh man. Oh, this is so beautiful. And it's pretty hefty, too. It, it has some weight to it. Oh, man. This is, this is... So this is what would be the auxiliary switch. Oh, my gosh. The shine through glass eye. Yep, and this is the activation button. Oh my gosh, the bunny ears, the legendary bunny ears. Yo. Oh my gosh, I just, I gotta. Oh, goosebumps. That is, that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh man. Oh gosh, I, I am so in love with this. I am so in love with this, this is This is like, this is like a dr damn new, this is basically a dream come true, like, oh my gosh. There we go. So I think like the only thing that I would do to this, like, I guess machining wise would be to make this hole or try and make this hole just a little bit bigger so that more light can shine through on this. Other than that, I probably won't do anything else to this, but Fuck. Like, I am tweaking right now. Like, like, you guys just have no idea. No idea. Huh. 
Okay. So, this was supposed to be um, the 89 Sabres Graflex. Um, I, whoop, whoop. I saw a video on, on how that Graflex was set up. And this doesn't seem to be set up the same way. Like, this won't even thread back in. Let's move you over a little bit. There we go. So yeah, with the 89 Sabres Graflex, um, the, the momentary switch, or I think, yeah, I think this is a, supposed to be a momentary switch. Um, it was supposed to be like the whole switch internal was supposed to be inside here and um this just had like a i guess i think the term that other installers use is like a plunge or a plunger that the i guess the button has i don't know however long or however much space is inside of this piece it's kind of like a rod going down to like that flat, uh, I guess it's a copper bed that you saw. And it just pushes that down and then it, you know, kind of brings it back out. So I guess that like the, there's supposed to be like a tactile switch inside or back here that that piece pushes in to activate it. But I'm going to end up figuring this out. I just have to watch more videos before I actually just like jump in. Ah, the legendary bunny ears. I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I ordered this June 13th and I was supposed to get it back in June, but, um, uh, Corbanth they didn't get their shipment because of, you know, I guess, um, some issues that 89 Sabres ran into. And so, um, Corbanth's, Corbanth didn't get their order in, and obviously them not getting their order in stops them from shipping it to anyone else. So, I, I had to wait until they got their shipment in order to get my order but this this looks so good. This looks so good. Oh man, I'm I'm gonna have I'm gonna have fun. So yeah, this is what I've been waiting for, and I'm happy. I'm happy. I me personally, I'm gonna have this set up in the um. How do they describe it? Uh, what is it? Empire Strike? No, um, uh, the Last Jedi configuration with the six T grips, because I want to keep the glass eye. I wanna, I wanna have that shine through. And I like, me personally, I like the way that that setup looks the most. You know, so let's put that back in for a second. Here's the bags. Here's the D-ring. This is supposed to be, I believe this is um, a New Hope and Empire Strikes Back config. And this is The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. So it has an another button that also, that can also act as an activation switch. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, and this, hold on, let's open this up, let's push this back a little bit, so I am going to assume that this, yeah, this feels like what would be the activation 
Yep. So I guess this goes on the inside. Like if um, when I'm doing the install, this would go on the inside, but right behind this. So this is the tactile switch for the activation. If you can, if you can hear it. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. Let's look at these cards. This looks really good. I'm really feeling this one. I'm really feeling this one. Kind of looks like musical notes. This is, look at that shine. Oh my gosh. The legendary Cobalt D-Ring. Yes. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, I can barely contain myself with this. This is just so, it's just so surreal. It's, oh my gosh. I am happy. And on top of that, like my birthday is coming up. So this is a birthday gift to myself. This is a birthday gift to myself. I, I've been saving up or been trying to save up for a while for um, Comic-Con so I can have like a like pretty much like a lot of money to buy a whole lot of shit while I'm there but I felt that you know this is something that I want that I truly wanted so I'll be damned I have the money to get it let me just do it I only have to do it once and oh my gosh I this is like really nice soft kind of pliable oh man I'm I'm so happy so I'm gonna leave you with this if there's something that you guys want to do or something that you guys want to get if you have the means of getting it just do it you only have to do it once unless it's something that is just like a, a reoccurring thing like you know like how you have monthly subscriptions to something and then at that point if you're not really able to do it i would definitely say don't do it don't do it but if it's something that you want to buy and you only have to get it that one time if you have the money just do it you know like if if it's not gonna break bank and you're you know you're gonna end up homeless because that you because you got what you wanted to get or if it's gonna you know like have some serious repercussions or such don't do it but if there's nothing like that that's gonna happen and you'll be fine afterwards just get it you only have to do it the one time and you will feel so much better after you know like if it's really important to you do it if other people don't understand why, they don't have to understand, you know? Just do what makes you guys feel happy, you know, as long as you're not causing any harm to someone else. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have so much fun. Alrighty, so I'm going to leave you guys with that message. And yeah, just enjoy the rest of your day. I gotta go because I really want to enjoy this. Thank you for watching.